When my wife asked for an open marriage, I agreed to save our relationship but now, she wants to close it again, and demands I end things with my partner. The rules we created have been broken, and so has my trust. I, 39M, and my 37F wife have been married for 15 years. Our two children are a boy age 12 and a 14-year-old girl. My wife came to me roughly one and a half years ago requesting an open marriage. She claimed she wanted to see more and was bored with just us. Since I really think marriage is between two people, I was quite against this. My wife had only been with me while I had five sexual partners at the same time we were getting married. She made it plain that she was ready to file for divorce or that we opened things up. Neither of us wanted that, so I consented under specific conditions. None brought back to the house. We don't discuss partners. Partners the kids don't know, family doesn't know, all partners are tested ahead of time, none that we both know, etc. My wife went out and did not return until 4 a.m., so my strong suspicion that she had someone in mind was validated 24 hours after we decided. I wanted to save my marriage, but I was really not good with it and found it difficult. Last May I ran across Amber together our daughters are in the marching band. Amber is divorced and has no desire in getting married once again. She does have wants like everyone else on the planet. Five months after the marriage opened, I started sleeping with Amber, though initially it felt like cheating. Really, it's good to have something no strings where neither of us wants it to move forward. I grew at ease with the notion that my wife and I could satisfy our desires both inside and outside of our marriage over time. We were far happier and our sex life was indeed far more passionate. In April amid the coronavirus, my wife and her side mate, who I never met, stopped seeing each other. From what I understand, his wife is unaware and it was difficult to get away even though he is in an open marriage. We helped plan a fantastic Zoom concert for the band students in May though my wife met Amber for the first time, well, I believe Amber has been open with a couple of the mothers since it came back to my wife that Amber was her outside partner. As we both know Amber, my wife told me I had to call it quits with her. I turned down, pointing out that neither of us know her ahead of time and that our meeting followed the guidelines we set. She has told me several times over the past month that she is unhappy with me sleeping with Amber and that I should call off the arrangement. Remember that she was good for a year while she was with her boyfriend. She came to me this weekend and said she wanted to reopen our marriage under closure. I told her I was open to that that, as long as we decided it would stay closed going forward. She agreed that she wants that as well, that she doesn't need any more partners, and that she would be content with just me. We might agree to dissolve the marriage under two conditions. The first I mentioned above, and the second I wanted her to sign a document waiving spousal support should divorce come about. She started to flip. She flatly refused to even give that any thought. Since we married, my wife hasn't worked. If she signed, she suggested I could keep seeing Amber and leave her empty-handed. I told her I would be ready to add a list of mutually agreed-upon events, including adultery on my side, wherein the agreement would be worthless. She claims it's not open for conversation and she won't be left with nothing or kept cheated on when I choose to leave her for Amber. I pointed out that she came up with this entire thing and that I merely followed her to keep our marriage strong. She believes that should we fail to close the marriage, it would as well be over. I informed her I would not put up with being threatened with divorce each time her demand was denied. She thinks I should concentrate on us and I'm acting dramatically. Should I agree to be free from conditions? As we both agreed it was only physical, I know there is no future with Amber even though I know I'm keeping my ground, I feel like I'm blowing apart my marriage over a dead end. Simultaneously, I doubt Amber at all is the focus here. Update 1. As a result of what several of you have mentioned in this thread, I called Amber this morning, reminded her that we were supposed to keep things confidential, and inquired about the person with whom she had disclosed the specifics of our romantic relationship. I didn't get the impression that she was lying when she denied that she had told anyone about it. After retrieving the history of my wife's Google timeline, I found out that she had followed me to Amber's residence in the month of April using Google. After following me, she purposefully presented herself to Amber in order to provoke a conflict between the two of them. I was under the impression that she was interested in forming a relationship with the band's parents, but it turned out that she was just interested in attempting to stop things with my outside partner. Just at this time, I am completely at a loss for what to do. Comments. Al Frosty. I have a sneaking suspicion that your wife has flipped. She has no intention of remaining with you for an extended period of time. Of course, it is just what I was thinking. Believe me when I say that I have no intention of causing her financial hardship. She is considering the possibility that she is so confident in us at this point that she is prepared to put an end to things. What about a year or two from now when she makes the decision that she wants someone else and decides that she wants to open things up again? What about that? In the event that she wants it both ways, I will not allow myself to be blackmailed with the threat of divorce. I am John Miller. Already, your marriage has come to an end. All the best. OP, 
I am beginning to understand that completely. She is not the same person I married, and I despise the fact that she is Lady Magpie. The fact that he is in an open marriage causes his wife to be oblivious of his infidelity. Therefore, he is simply cheating on her. OP. Yes, it seems like my wife had the impression that it was open. He informed her that it was actually the case, and that he was simply playing a game with his wife without her awareness. Regarding the question of whether or not his wife still desired to end the marriage and whether or not the divorce will still take place, my initial inquiry was whether or not she would be willing to consent to the fact that once it was closed, it would remain closed. In the event that we were to divorce, I then inquired as to whether or not she would be ready to forego spousal support. To be more explicit, I inquired as to whether or not she would be willing to waive it only in certain circumstances, such as when she cheated on me or when I refused to reconsider the marriage. She refused to engage in conversation about it. When I think about it, I don't want to be in a scenario where six months from now, her outside partner wants to start over, or she sees someone else she's interested in and decides to threaten me with divorce once more if I don't open up the marriage again. I'm resolute in my intention not to take advantage of her financially. When I asked her for a guarantee that she wouldn't ask me that question again, it was more than just a request. It was a test to gauge her commitment to our arrangement. The way she hesitated, the clear reluctance in her response, revealed a lot about her true feelings. It became evident that she wasn't prepared to back her words with actions, which raised serious doubts in my mind. Reflecting on how I first met Amber, I realized that our connection was forged through the community of band parents. The band was the sole environment where our daughters formed a close bond, and it was a space that my wife never entered. She had no interest in the music or the camaraderie that came with it, so it was almost as if this world existed separately from our lives. When the pandemic struck and everyone was forced into isolation, Amber found herself looking for ways to stay engaged. It was then that she decided to volunteer for the concert, stepping into a role that was entirely her own. In hindsight, I wonder how I should have responded when she expressed this desire. Should I have told her no, that it was inappropriate because my outside partner was part of that circle? What would have been the right thing to say? After all, my wife wasn't connected to that group of friends. In fact, she didn't even show interest in the band until May a whole year after I began seeing Amber as I delved deeper into the situation. I discovered a rather telling reason behind my wife's sudden interest in the band. My relationship with Amber began in May of 2019, but my wife had been in a relationship with her boyfriend since December of 2018. This timeline was crucial, as it underscored my wife's motivations. She had proposed the idea of an open marriage to me, a concept I wasn't comfortable with. Still, I found myself agreeing when she informed me she was planning to file for divorce. That decision weighed heavily on me. It took me months to process, yet she managed to find an outside partner in less than 24 hours. Their relationship didn't last, which I found both ironic and revealing about the dynamics we were navigating. In a bid to coerce me into ending my relationship with Amber, my wife resorted to following me around even introducing herself to my girlfriend. It was a puzzling tactic, one that only highlighted the lengths she was willing to go to in order to regain control. When that didn't work, she brought up the idea of terminating our marriage once again, but the constraints I had placed on our relationship were boundaries she was clearly unwilling to accept. As I reflect on these events, I realize they reveal much more than just a tangled web of relationships. They highlight the struggles of navigating love, loyalty, and the pain of unexpected choices. Each decision, each moment of hesitation or determination shapes the landscape of our lives in profound ways. What began as an exploration of connection and freedom morphed into a battle of wills, exposing vulnerabilities that neither of us anticipated. It's a reminder that relationships, whether romantic or platonic, are never as straightforward as they seem often rooted in complex emotions and unspoken expectations. I am now moving on to the final month, which has been a really challenging month. After learning about the stalking, I confronted my wife. When I brought up her location history, she initially disputed it, but then I brought it up again. The attempt to deflect responsibility came from her, and she accused me of invading her privacy. Despite her efforts to turn the conversation around, I refused to take the bait. Finally, she laid bare her feelings, admitting that she resented my relationship with Amber especially since she felt alone in her circumstances. A fellow mother at the school had pointed out that my actions felt too close to home, intensifying her discomfort. In an effort to find a solution, I proposed a deal to Amber. I would end our relationship if she committed to attending counseling, definitively ending the marriage, and starting the process of finding a job to contribute to our household. When she responded that she was a stay-at-home mother, 
I gently reminded her that this was a topic we could revisit after the pandemic. However, I stressed that once life returned to normal, she could no longer simply stay at home without contributing to our shared responsibilities. We embarked on a few therapy sessions, and initially, everything seemed to be progressing smoothly. The therapist challenged her to articulate why she had been following me around pushing her to confront the reasons she felt leaving the marriage was necessary. She was required to address many of the thoughts and emotions that had been swirling in my mind. But as we delved deeper, the atmosphere shifted dramatically. During one session, she revealed that her outside partner was someone from her past a high school boyfriend with whom she had reconnected after their initial breakout. This admission was like a punch to the gut. Her longing to relive a missed opportunity from her teenage years infuriated me, just as she felt my relationship was too close for comfort. I pointed out that her choice of rekindling a romance with a married ex-boyfriend crossed every boundary of acceptable behavior. In that moment, I couldn't even bear to look at her. Overwhelmed with emotion and not wanting my children to witness the turmoil I was experiencing, I made the difficult decision to check into a hotel for a few days. It was a retreat I desperately needed, a place to gather my thoughts away from the chaos. I spent that time alone, grappling with the weight of my feelings while my family remained a comforting presence, albeit from a distance. After a few days of solitude and reflection, I realized I couldn't avoid the inevitable. I returned to our home, steeling myself to confront the remnants of my marriage. The air was thick with unspoken words and unresolved tension, and I knew that addressing the fractures in our relationship was the only way forward. As I stepped through the door, I felt a mix of determination and dread, knowing that the journey ahead would be fraught with challenges but also essential for healing and clarity. I was surprised to see that my daughter, who was just 14 years old, was acting in a manner that was abnormally cold toward me when I arrived home. Quite dismissive was her demeanor. When I asked her what was going on, she proceeded to accuse me of having an affair with a band mom while she was with my mother. When I questioned her where she became aware of this information, she initially refused to tell me, claiming that it was irrelevant. However, she eventually acknowledged that her mother had informed her that I had been staying at the residence of my girlfriend after I had left. I informed her that it wasn't true, showed her the receipt for the hotel that was on my phone, and explained that her mother and I had a quarrel. So I decided to take some time away so that we could both calm down. I counted to ten in my brain, and then I showed her the receipt. I made a vow to her that I loved her, and that I would continue to love her even after she shed a lot of tears. Despite the fact that I was sweltering on the inside, I did my best to maintain my composure. Not even my wife was there to greet me. Instead, I went to Facebook and located the woman who was married to the guy. I wrote her a message in which I informed her that her husband had been having an affair with my wife for a year and a half and that I would be pleased to send her any proof that she would like to verify this information. She expressed her gratitude and had a sneaking suspicion that something was wrong. A few hours later, my wife rushed to me in a fit of wrath, yelling that I had failed to maintain the confidentiality of our therapy session and that I had ruined the life of the individual. I inquired about her intentions about the disclosure of the fact that I was dating someone to our kid. In spite of her denials, she continues to refuse to acknowledge that she disclosed any information to her other than the fact that I was absent for a few days. On Thursday of last week, something occurred. Since then, we have not communicated with one another. Tomorrow is the day when we are scheduled to have another therapy session, but I am not sure if it is even worthwhile to have that session. Despite the fact that I continually catch her in falsehoods, I don't believe that I will ever be able to trust her again. When I think about it, I feel sick to my stomach, even though I am aware that filing for divorce is the prudent choice at this moment in time. The fact that I was unable to make my marriage work together makes me feel like a failure. In spite of the fact that I'm aware that this is the final destination, I can't help but feel like I'm going to puke up every time I attempt to phone an attorney. Comment. Acton of chatting. We are grateful for the update. I am sorry to read that therapy is only bringing more things to light, and it is evident that your faith in your wife has been utterly shattered as a result of her lying to you. I really hope that your wife wasn't the one to tell it to your daughter, but when people are sinking quickly, they will cling on to anything to keep them afloat. And turning the kids against you isn't exactly an innovative technique. I hope that your wife didn't tell that to your daughter. Despite the fact that the marriage has reached its conclusion, you are not a failure. It is highly recommended that you get in touch with the attorney at this time. No matter how challenging it may be, you should do it for yourself for your children, and even for your wife, so that she can reach her lowest point on her own without wrecking your lives in the process. May you have success, sir. You are a resource. You should consult with a lawyer. Your wife started the relationship after she had already cheated on you or was about to cheat on you anyhow. If you're being completely honest with yourself, 
In the event that things did not go as planned, she did not want you to enjoy yourself while she was not. With no intention of doing so, she does not make any contributions to the household. Incessantly, she tells lies. What gives you the impression that anything would rectify this situation? It is important to believe someone when they reveal themselves to you. Either she gets her way or the highway. Therefore, as I mentioned before, you should consult with a lawyer, get your financial situation in order, and walk out of this terrible relationship. Oh my goodness, Lisa, you didn't fail, that's for sure. Your spouse had the intention of cheating, but she did not want to label it cheating. Never once did she want or anticipate that you would do the same. It is really manipulative of her to say that she would divorce you if you did not comply with her demands. The fact that she attempted to damage the relationship you have with your daughter is the conclusion that you have reached. The scenario is not one that I would consider to be fixable. Yet, you should never be too hard on yourself for any of this. It seems as though your wife is completely losing her mind, and although you have been trying to hold on for dear life, it may be time for you to let go. In addition, I would be completely honest with your daughter about the aforementioned circumstance. In light of the fact that everything will eventually be revealed, it is preferable to have the complete truth rather than rumors and lies. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more shocking real-life stories happening around you.